Welcome to Paris. We are at the end of our summer trip to Europe and today we're flying Air France to La Première. We're right now on the car from the city that's complimentary for La Première passengers and we're about to arrive at the Charles de Gaulle terminal where there's a special surprise waiting for us. Now, today's flight on Air France La Première just happened to take place on the day right before Air France was opening a brand new ground experience for its first class passengers. And so because of this stroke of good fortune, I was able to attend the media preview for this new facility and check out what might quite possibly be the world's new best first class ground experience. So I was very fortunate to be able to attend the media preview for the new Air France first class check-in and lounge experience that will actually be opening tomorrow. Up until now, it's been a bit of a chaotic experience for La Premier passengers in terms of the security, but as of tomorrow, it'll be a lot more private. No more waltzing through the regular security queue to get through with your representative. But we've made it through security now, and so it's time to head over to the crown jewel of the Air France La Premier Lounge in Paris, where there's yet another special thing to check out that will soon be available to customers as well. I was excited to step back into the Air France La Première Lounge, which remains one of my favorite lounges in the world. But today, as part of the media preview, there was a special new set of spaces to discover. Now, I have to say, Air France really didn't hold back on creating this incredible lounge product here in Paris as part of the first class La Première experience. The fact that there's an outdoor terrace, the fact that there's a hotel room basically, and the design is just incredible out of this world. This is pretty much a blend between commercial first class experiences, like the ones we've seen with Swiss and Qatar Airways and Lufthansa, and something like the private suite experiences that we've seen in the US, where you do have this entirely private place to rest before your flight. It's kind of a blend between the two, but Air France has branded it incredibly well. And I think it's gonna do really well for them because they're charging some very high prices for entry to these suites. It's gonna start at 800 euros per passenger as an upcharge if you're already a La Premier customer. So definitely not gonna be cheap, but it's gonna be an experience to match if you can swing it. Now that was an absolutely delicious lunch. This is my second time in the Air France La Premier Lounge. Last time I only had breakfast, so this time it was nice to try the, the main all-day dining menu as well. So you get free spa treatments here in the lounge and Jessie's off to do a facial treatment. We'll catch up with her later on. Right now we're gonna go for a shower to freshen up before the flight. After indulging in a little bit of champagne, plus some of this incredible pistachio ice cream that I so fondly remember from last time, it was time to embark on one of the most exciting parts of the Air France La Première ground experience, the car ride across the tarmac directly to the plane. How was your spa treatment? It was really nice. I feel nice and refreshed. She gave me a massage. She's a bunch of stuff on my face. It was a really nice time. And what is it like being driven to the plane? I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not on a sweaty bus. Our own little air-conditioned car. Yeah, it's quite different. It's always an incredible feeling being driven to the plane. And while our handler and Jesse took the stairs up to the jet bridge, I took a moment to admire the aircraft from the outside. Soon enough, though, we were on board the Air France 777, being welcomed by a glass of champagne. Overall, this is my second time flying Air France La Première. Less drama than last time. If you know, you know. That was a funny story back in the day. But yeah, this time, enjoying the trip with my wife. I'm looking forward to finding out if it's still holding up compared to before and just experiencing the best that Air France has to offer in the skies. Now, it really is crazy just how much space we have here on Air France La Première. Given that there's four seats across and the seat next to Jesse is empty, it's quite the experience. Last time I was alone on this flight. This time I've got my wife with me, but once you draw the curtains over there, it's still an exceedingly generous amount of privacy. Now, since we just ate lunch in the lounge earlier, and we're still pretty full, and the fact that when you're flying first class, you get to have what's known as dine on demand, so you get to choose when you eat. We're gonna wait about maybe two hours before we have lunch. Uh, in the meantime, just relax, maybe watch a movie, do some work. But overall, I'm still really looking forward to trying the food on board Air France La Première. It still is one of the best onboard cuisines that I've had over the course of my travels. And so this time getting to experience it again, something I'm really looking forward to. All right, guys, welcome back. Have to say the three or so glasses of champagne hit me a little bit just now and just dozed off for a little bit of a nap, but it's time to awaken with a fresh cappuccino. Looks like Jesse dozed off as well. We're just about to start the meal in 30 minutes. 
What do you think about the meal presentation? I like how the glasses are tilted. Look at that. Mm. All right, so for my second appetizer, I've ordered the gazpacho, which was on the menu, and I do really enjoy my gazpacho. Jesse hasn't ordered anything, though, because... Gazpacho is not soup. It is just cold puree. And I said this once, and I'll say it again. It is not soup. It's ice cream. Well, it's a smoothie. That is not soup. It should not be cold. Okay, correction. I had a taste of it. It's just salsa. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now for our next appetizer, we've got the crab cake dish. And just have a look at how intricate this presentation is. You've got a hollowed out carrots with some sauce on the inside to go with the crab cakes. The first time I'm seeing something like this, it's just so intricate, so nicely put together. Now I've been on a health kick lately and this is my first time traveling since being on the health kick. And one of the things I've found challenging is hitting my macros every day, especially the protein, which is why today I've had a steak in the lounge and I'm having a steak in the air. One of the coolest things on board Air France La Première is they bring you an entire cheese plate and you get to select which one you want to try. So I've asked for a très petit morceau, very small piece of each one to give them a go. What do you think about the food on board? I would say it's pretty good. The appetizer, this crab cake, but it was pieces of crab and it was cold, not like a, a deep fried crab cake. That was good. The cold soup slash salsa was gross, but my main, which was sea bream, was good. I like the flight attendant. She was very nice. She was very attentive. I liked how your ice cream came with real raspberries. Quick bathroom check here on Air France La Première on the Boeing 777. It's a fairly spacious bathroom. You got your sink, you got fairly generous storage space. Up here are some towels and some hand creams and a toothbrush kit. And then you've got the toilet, a little bench that can fold down if you want to sit or change, plus some coat racks up here. Now, of course, it's time to try on the pajamas, which comes in this very elegant suede bag. And let's see what it looks like. So here we are, a nice grayish blue color on the pajamas. I think it's fairly similar to the last time I had flown Air France La Première. Similar style, but evolved a little bit in the past couple of years. All right, the curtain's drawn. A little bit of a break from the wife. And it's time to relax a bit. Now, I recall from last time, Air France La Première having one of the most comfortable beds in the sky. And this time is no different. Extremely comfortable, super spacious, and super private with the curtains drawn as well. It is a daytime flight though, so I'm gonna stay awake for a bit. And I thought I would take this opportunity to share with you a little bit about what's been happening here on the YouTube channel, what's been going on in my life. Just chat a little bit about the latest in terms of my perspective and my thinking and my plans for the content that you're about to see going forward. Now, as you guys may recall, earlier this year, I had filmed a video on board Emirates First Class and it was titled, I'm Done Flying. And I was telling you a little bit about the shifts in thinking and transformations that I've been going through this year. And perhaps that title was a little bit dramatic looking back, but in terms of the overall direction of my content and my channel, that very much holds true. As you guys may have seen, I've spent the past few months, the last six or seven videos that I've made, creating some new types of content compared to the simple first class flight reviews that I had done in the past. You know, before it was just, here's the seat, here's the caviar, here's me eating a whole bunch of food. But as of late, I've been looking to tap into the experiences I've had as an entrepreneur, the lessons that I've been picking up along my travels. And going forward, you can expect a lot more videos exploring many of these ideas and telling stories around the world that ties into each of these ideas that I'm very passionate about. Don't get me wrong, there will still be the occasional aviation or first class flight review video like the one I've made today, because after all, aviation is something super close to my heart and I'll continue to be involved in the industry as part of my work at Prince of Travel. For example, right now we're flying Air France La Première, but later this year they're introducing a brand new product which will have not four but five windows along the side here and I'm super excited to check that out and show you that kind of experience. But along the way you can also expect to see a whole bunch of other topics and ideas that I'll be working on. And if there's any topics that you're interested in seeing a video on within these ideas that I've mentioned, let me know in the comments below what type of videos you'd like to see and I'll add it to my list of ideas. And if you've been watching these aviation and first class flight videos over the years, I just have to say a thank you for tuning into the channel, supporting my work, watching as I chow down on five meals for every flight. Honestly, it's a bit excessive, but I'm really glad you've enjoyed living vicariously through my travels and rest assured there will still be plenty of that in the videos to come. As we wrap up this flight, I'll leave you with this video from back in the day, the last time I did Air France La Première, 
can check out the video for a blast from the past from the good old days, and I'll see you over there.